Physiology 2023 is going to allow us to have a shining light focused on physiology. And so we assembled this team that we felt would have balanced um, approach and willingness to really commit a lot of time and energy to put this plan together. And I am so proud of how hard they worked and what they did and what we came up with. Physiology 2023 will be an exciting adventure for uh, APS. We're going to showcase physiology research, not only in the foundational sessions, but also in the game changer sessions. We're gonna be bringing in people from all different types of scientific research to be able to adapt your own research to think about new and exciting outside the box ideas. I'm excited with the idea of big science big ideas and the cross-disciplinary translational relevance of physiology. We had one of the most diverse group of members coming together to create this meeting. We brought together not only members of council and of sections, but trainees and staff and people in the education community, and in the research community, to really grapple with some fundamental questions about how do we create something that is intellectually stimulating, that explores new science, and that pushes the envelope, being a meeting that's about the future. So there are a lot of things that we'll be keeping for our 2023 meeting from the existing experimental biology format. Sections can still have a big role in programming. We're still going to have several society-wide lectureships like the Canon and the Bowditch. And importantly, we will still have the opportunities for social interaction like the trainee mixer and the diversity mixer that we have always had. While we preserve, I think, the best of what we had at EB, we're also creating a lot of new components that I think are going to generate enormous interest. For example, general sessions where we're really able to gather the whole community together and hear heavy hitters in the scientific community. One of the intentions is to expand multidisciplinary cross-sectional um, sessions to elevate the science. We are really focused on the community aspects of the meeting, including creating a new physio hub that really is going to allow for us to provide places for um, attendees to come together and meet other attendees, the hub is going to be your invigoration place. This is where you're going to meet your colleagues. Uh, this is where you're also going to be uh, relaxing if you need to take a quick break, but also be invigorated with the science that could be going on around you in, in those areas. I'm really excited about the hub, which is not fully defined yet, but I think it'll feel like a town square for our society. And I think there's many opportunities for us to really get to know each other in this space and to have some flexible programming. I think the idea of expanding the ways in which we present our science, not just the standard lecture format, but incorporating all sorts of different dynamic and engaging sessions and including a virtual hybrid format means that we can involve top level scientists wherever they are in the world. With the mixing of virtual and face-to-face -face sessions, we'll get the best of both worlds. For virtual presentations, people can participate even though they might be around the globe and they don't have the capacity to come to the meeting. We have created a schedule that really packs a punch, and that I think is going to attract high-level scientists, principal investigators, really experienced educators, and trainees. The meeting is programmed to be about three days long. Starting on Thursday, the meeting will then end on the Sunday by lunchtime. The decision was made to start the meeting on a Thursday afternoon to really accommodate educators so they do not have to miss much of their teaching obligations. So it will be workshops on the Thursday afternoon and we will open with our general session followed by an evening reception. Friday and Saturday we will start the day with our game changer sessions before moving on to our foundational science sessions. Finishing with the poster session and then evenings free for section driven events. Sunday will be other foundational science sessions and then closing up with another of our general sessions. With Physiology 2023, I'm excited about um, hearing the top 
physiological science presented. The meeting is really beginning to take shape in, a, in an exciting and interesting way. We still don't have all the answers. We have a lot still to define and really important that we're getting your ideas and your feedback. We want our whole membership included in this process. We're at a great position right now to gain new ideas, to be able to help mold and make this meeting what the members want. We are very much wanting to hear your thoughts and how to move the meeting forward in a very positive way for all members. We're looking forward to seeing you at the American Physiology Summit in Long Beach, California, April 20th through 23rd, 2023.